is perfect. Do any of you guys want to be farmers? You do. Okay, well, you know, if I'm imparted into one young soul, that's enough for me. So I'm about to plant my carrot field, but I gotta, I gotta, you know, use this, this seed spreader and, and plant the seeds so that they can grow, right? So I'm just gonna plant them, don't mind me. Wait a minute. Hold on. I remember hearing something about God wanted us to use our faith in him and that if we have faith that he can do anything. So why am I doing this? I'll just have him do that for me. I don't even have to lift a finger. Okay, guys, so this is really good too because then I can teach you how to exercise your faith. Okay, forget that whole farming thing. God will do that. Okay, so Father, in Jesus' name, I just pray that you would take those seeds and put them in the ground and grow them into big juicy carrots so that when I open my eyes, they'll be all grown and I won't have to do anything. I'm so excited. Just saying, amen. Uh, did the carrots like hide or something? I don't see them. I don't, I don't think so. Or maybe if I cross my fingers. Dear Jesus, I just pray that you would grow these carrots and I wouldn't have to do anything and that they'll be all grown. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hello there, Hillbilly Millie. What are you doing there today? Hey there, Mama Buffy. Do you like my new pink Cadillac? I do, I do, I like it a lot. I do. Well, what are you up to all crossed up like that? So. Uh, I'm exercising my faith in Jesus, and I have faith that he will make my carrots grow. That is such a great thing, and what else are you going to do with that faith there? Uh, that's it. Uh, just trust God that he'll grow the... I prayed. I got my seed. Start. And then now, I'm just, I'm just waiting on... Yep. Just, just going to wait? Yeah. Oh, boys and girls, do you think that's going to work? No. Well, I think that the Bible tells us that we need to put action to our faith. So, Hillbilly Millie, you've got everything you need. I see, oh, you've got a full of seed here in your spreader, mm -hmm. and you've got your work clothes on, and you have your field all ready for the seeds. But you have got to put the work in too. You've got to push that spreader so that those seeds can go in the soil and grow. Oh. You know, boys and girls, that reminds me of a story in the Bible I would love to tell you all. There was a man who lived during the time of Jesus and he was paralyzed. Does anybody here know what that word means? Oh, what about you right there in the striped shirt? Yeah. That's right, it means you can't move parts of your body. So this man could not move his legs, he could not move his arms, but he had faith that Jesus would heal him. Now, do you think he was able to get to Jesus by himself? No, he couldn't use his legs and his arms, but he had friends who helped him put action to his faith. And you know what they did? They carried him in his bed all the way to the house that Jesus was staying at. And you know what? That house was so full because everybody was trying to get a glimpse of Jesus. They couldn't get him through the front door or through the back door. The house was so full. What do you think they did? Did they uh, use a rocket launcher into the building? Just like, <laughs> well, that's kind of silly, isn't it? But they did do something a little bit crazy. They went and climbed up on the roof and they cut a big hole and they lowered their friend in to see Jesus. And can you guess what Jesus did for that man? He healed him, that's right. So he had friends to help him put action to his face so they could get healed. So. I guess I really do need to go spread my seed. I think that's a great idea. All right, let me go do that. Well, hold on, we gotta pray with these kids first. Oh, right. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you that you give us the ability to put action behind our faith. And with our faith, combined with our actions, anything is possible through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.